Hello my hamsters, so today I will be talking about another weird YouTube scandal kind of thing. And you make the red button grey, um, if you want to support me then do it. Uh, subscribe, please subscribe. Okay, moving on. When that's out of the way, let's begin with Sniper Wolf and what's been happening with her lately. Now let's start from my background with Sniper Wolf. I used to kind of watch her as a background before I go to sleep kind of YouTuber because the content isn't really too engaging. Most of the time it's just basic reactions to oddly satisfying things or something along the, along the lines. But this really surprised me. I always kind of thought that she had a bit of an edge to her personality in general. Not to her content necessarily, but her personality. And now that was confirmed. So let's talk about the scandal with Sniper Wolf and a seriously ill fan. Okay. As always, article is in the description where you can find any and all the sources I use, so transparency is what we're here for. Popular reaction YouTuber SS Night Wolf is coming under fire after an angry mother claimed the influencer ditched a meeting with her terminally ill child. Now that's an introduction. The influencer is best known for her reaction videos where she shares her thoughts on popular trends or viral content. Her uploads often garner millions of views each, which is no secret to any one of us watching here, um, assuming you guys know who she is, and I think most YouTube does, so. While she might be one of the biggest names on YouTube, she's coming under fire after a mother claimed that she bailed after agreeing to meet with her terminally ill kid, Kiara. Now, I'm sorry if I butcher this in any way, and I will correct it if needed. Initially, the child appeared on an episode of Adam's 22, Adam 22's No Jumper podcast, where she mentioned that her biggest dream was to meet SS Sniper Wolf. Adam 22 reached out to the reaction YouTuber and let her know about the situation, promoting her to reportedly reach out to Kara's mother to schedule a FaceTime call with the sick child. Unfortunately, this initial meeting never ended up happening. In a series of Instagram messages provided by Drama Alert, the child's mother and Mrs. Sniper Wolf can be seen excitedly arranging a call around Christmas Day but it's after this introduction that things start to fall through. The two struggled to come up with a time that worked for both parties. At one point, the mother posted an Instagram story, asked fans to reach out to SS Sniper Wolf, which the influencer um, asked her to delete on the premise of wanting to avoid quote-unquote spam messages, asking her to video chat with fans. It would have been nice for you to just say hi, the mother wrote in an Instagram DM. It's okay, she's dying and literally has days to live. I just tried to make my daughter's last wishes happen. Although I just never will free affirm that she would quote unquote make it happen, the mother seemingly had enough and blocked the influencer from messaging her again. However, S.S. Sniper Wolf claims that she has since been able to get back in touch with the mother and says, she did send a video message to Kara after all. So this story does have a somewhat of a happy ending, but I think the drama of it all is very fascinating. And the fact that someone with that much influence would even think, oh yeah, let's just like put my schedule over a literal kid who's one of who has a last wish to meet me i don't know i'm no one to get mixed into like deep ethics of people but i do think that's kind of dodgy uh, and 
this rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> so let's read the actual messages, shall we? Because I think that's where the fun is. Okay. So here we have Snapple saying, and everything is on the screen, by the way. Here we have Snapple saying, Hello, would love to send her a video message or to chat with her. And the mother answers, OMG! Exclamation marks. Hi! Exclamation marks. Um, OMG, she would love to talk to you. However, we can. Thank you, thank you. Hi, would love to tomorrow, if that's okay. If it doesn't disrupt your Christmas. Yes, please. Okay. That's the first message we, that's the first situation we have. And then after that, we see the, hi, please don't post messages. I don't usually do this and I don't want other people to spam me, uh, to spam me to video message. Thanks. That's also really weird, but YouTube fame is weird. So I think maybe there's a grain of truth in that especially when you're really big and people just look at those kinds of things and are like oh well if she's done it here she can do it for x person too uh, so i don't know but still i do think it's a bit too much uh, so yeah and honestly i think i'm all for like letting people express their excitement as long as it doesn't seriously interrupt or hurt anyone else and then we have the very end of this people just want an excuse to start drama i have gotten into contact with the girl's mom and i have sent her a video now that's where i have opinions because i think at the very least you could have gone on a call or a video call with the girl instead of sending a short video that's just my opinion especially if it's this girl's one of this girl's last wishes like that is something so special to her obviously and S.S. Snapple's content means so much to her it got late so I had to be more quiet sorry Executing the whole situation, but I still think fulfilling somebody's last wishes is touching. Um, she definitely did not go about it in the best way possible. It was still somewhat done, but I don't know how much we could actually fully justify that. So, yeah, that's on my opinion and on my idea around this. Let me know what you think in the comment section and yeah that's that that we're gonna close it and see you next time